So we're going to have a look here at what happens when we add a transition without having trimmed our clip. So essentially what I've got here are two clips that are added um, to the timeline and I haven't taken any footage of the beginning or end of, of these two clips. So when we add a transition here in Final Cut Pro 10, we get a message that pops up that Final Cut is telling us that it's going to shorten the clips in order to make the transition. So let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to come to my transitions on the right hand side here and we'll use a basic cross dissolve. So when we drag this on to the edit point, we get this message that pops up saying there's not enough extra media beyond the clip to create the transition, which basically means that in order to, for the clips to overlap, Final Cut Pro needs to shorten both of those clips so they can overlap. So we're shortening the duration of the entire project. So when we create the transition, here you can see that the, the clips are shortening and basically overlapping one another. Now we can see a little bit more detail about what's happening here if we double click on the transition. So if we double click here, you can see we have our transition and we have our clips overlapping. So if we want to extend our transition beyond a certain point we can't do that because there's just not simply enough media to, to make that transition longer so what we can do here is we can once we're into this advanced editor we can drag our clip to the left here and to the right and we can move our transition then to extend it out so essentially what we're doing is we're increasing that overlap between the two clips in order to create a bigger transition between those two clips. Once we've finished doing that, we can double click here and it will close up that transition. And you can see we've created a two second and 22 frame transition. Um, and if we try and extend that, we can extend that to a certain point, but we do get this red line at a certain point when we try and extend to a certain point beyond where the clips are overlapping. So again, then we'd have to drag these clips to overlap even more in order to extend that to a longer duration. So now we have, I'm using Control and D to bring up the duration. We now have a five second transition simply by overlapping those clips even more. Now essentially what's happening here is we are shortening the duration of our overall edit um, as we're doing this. But this detailed editor here, or advanced editor, allows to see exactly what's happening with our clips as they're transitioning from one point to the next. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, it's come up in a couple of questions online that I've had. And if you have any other questions, then don't hesitate to get in touch. I'm always happy to, to answer questions as best I can. Hopefully this will help some of you out. Thanks a lot for watching.